So I made a page of restaurant health inspections in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, it's real data. Doesn't matter what the data is, though. The point is there's a lot of them, 25,000 or something. So right now, if you scroll down the list, it just stops at 20. Um, what I want to do is implement three different ways of doing infinite scrolling with HTMX. So you have options with HTMX. The first thing I've done is get them ready to sort of separate. By separating them, each page has its own route. So you can click, you know, easiest, smoother, insane. Each one has its own route to get those rows. And it's not just, you know, each one has a route to get its own pages, right? So, so page one, page two, page three, as you scroll, they each have their own way of doing it. Right now, all three files are exactly the same. Um, they just show the same information. Okay, so no matter what we do, the first step is to install HTMX um, and run the build process, by which I mean we just copy the CDN into the main page. Okay, part one is the easiest way to do it. You add an empty row at the bottom. So we're drawing a row, in this case 20 per page, uh, 20 rows. At the bottom, we just put this little TR, you know, with a TD, has an empty row at the bottom, has a loading spinner in it so that you'll see that little loading when you reach it. Okay, now you have the page number that you're currently working on. We put this into a variable, the page variable. So you set the row that it's gonna load to the next page. So you do hx get equals, you know, demos, infinite scroll rows, and then the page equals page plus one. And that is going to replace itself with the new 20 rows from that page. So how do we do that? We do hx swap equals outer HTML. So this tr, it's gonna run the hx get and whatever it comes back, it's gonna get replaced by, uh, you know, the, the next page. So when do we want this to happen? when the element is visible. So as soon as it is revealed, hx trigger equals revealed. Okay, so that's it. Um, now, if we scroll down, we may see the loading for a split second. Um, we may turn on the throttling here just because it's very fast. And so if you turn on, you know, make it 3G. Um, okay, so now that's it. It loads the next 20. And as it, as you scroll down to the next one, it's running that same code, right? It's it's like a recursive function. Um, each little snippet that it loads has the, has the code in it to load the next page. So that's why it works as infinite scrolling. It'll keep going until it's done. Okay, so that's fine, but they have this little loading spinner. What if you don't wanna see that loading spinner? Uh, then we can make it invisible uh, with this next part, part two, smoother. Okay, so what if instead of loading the next page as we reached it, we instead loaded the next page as soon as we could see the previous page? Does that make sense? So let's think of each page now as its own element. And to do that, we can wrap it in a T body, right? T body tag that works fine with tables. These don't even need to be tables. I just like using simple HTML tables. Um, this could be any div. So Again, we're calling a route to get the pages, and this is gonna be the hx get. So now this, we're putting this on the T body. Instead of at the end, we're putting it at the beginning. Okay, so demos, infinite scroll, rows smoother. So a new way to get this page. And then the page equals the same, page plus one. So we wanna get the next page. But this time, we're putting it at the top, and we still use the trigger revealed. So as soon as this page is visible, as soon as it's revealed, as soon as the user can see it, it's gonna be loading that next page. Okay, and instead of hx swap equals outer HTML, which would replace the T body with our next page, we don't wanna do that. We're gonna use hx swap equals after end. Okay, so that's it, we're done. Now let's go back and look at the page and see what's happening. As we scroll, it's always one step ahead, right? So it, as you see a page, it loads the next one. You scroll down, you see that page. Meanwhile, down below, it's loading the next one. So even with the 3G throttling, which is still on, uh, you don't see that little scrolling thing. I mean, we could, if we tried to scroll really fast and was on 3G throttling, we could still see it. So what if that's not good enough? What if you never want to see that, that you know, loading spinner or you just want to have complete control over it? So this is part three, the insane way to do it. Um, okay, so loading one page ahead is fine, but, if the network is slow, let's say we want to be 
three pages ahead or five pages ahead or 10 pages ahead. So this gets more complicated, but the basic idea is we are going to make a plan first time we load the page for every page ahead. Okay, I'm not gonna explain all of the code, but because it's just a bit longer, um, but it's gonna be linked in the, in the description. Um, I'll give the full code. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a variable for how many pages ahead we want, and we figure out how many total pages there are gonna be, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up a placeholder for each one of those expected pages. Okay. Uh, similar to the smoother version, we're going to use the t-body to think of each page as a chunk, right? So now we have to give each chunk its own unique ID so that we can use it using htmx as an exact target. So every page has its own page number uh, in that ID. Okay, so with the t-body, the first thing we're going to do is do the hx get, demos, infinite scroll. Now we're referencing insane rows because that's this file here page equals page plus a head, right? So we defined what that ahead was, five, three, however many pages ahead you want it to load. Um, okay, so now we'd set the hx target to the same thing. So the target is now page underscore uh, page ahead. So that that will load it to the correct place. So, so we're seeing this one. And once again, we do hx trigger equals revealed. Um, so we have not set up where those targets are loading to yet. I'll show that in a minute. Okay, and then we do hx swap equals outer HTML. So we are going to replace our, you know, our placeholder with the, the full HTML that comes back from this loading. Okay, so it's always gonna be x steps ahead as you scroll. That's set up right here, but the target has to be defined, okay? So that means on the first page, the first time we load this, we have to do two things. First, we need to load X pages. So whatever that number for ahead that we defined, we need to load those immediately. If we start with three pages ahead, then you know we need to load those three in the first page as it first goes. Okay, so the way we're gonna do that, we have down at the bottom, we are going to set a loop for the number of pages ahead, and it's gonna have the HX get, demos, infinite scroll, insane rows again, page equals, you know, I plus two, so zero plus two is second page, third page, fourth page, whatever. Uh, and then HX trigger equals load. So we use the load trigger to make sure that they get loaded along with page one. So as soon as that is loaded by HTMX, you know, this, this placeholder, it immediately gets filled in with the correct page um, using HTMX. And then we use HX swap equals outer HTML. The other thing we have to do now that we have those pages loaded is we need to put the t-body placeholder for every possible page into our HTML. This is where we're starting to get insane. You know, should you do this? I don't, I'm not gonna comment on that. Okay, now, because sometimes, so, so the way we do that is we have our total number of pages, we loop through, and we just put this little loading placeholder. So that could be enough, but actually we also want to add, so just in case, you know, sometimes people skip around with their scrolling, so that may not trigger, you know, they may not just be scrolling down, 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 down. It may not trigger the revealed three pages up. You know, there's sort of a separation between these now. So as a backup, we will add this HX get, demos, infinite scroll, insane rows, page of this actual page. So basically, and then trigger revealed means that this page, each little of these placeholders, if you scroll to it and you can see it, that means it will load itself if it's not already loaded. So this is just like a, you know, a backup so that we don't get strange things. And we know the pages will load in the correct order because we've ordered them, we've given them IDs. Okay, so this is how we can safely load the next three or the next hundred pages so that when you're scrolling down, you never see that it feels infinite. You never see that little loading thing at the bottom. You never have to wait. I'm not saying you can do this. Uh, I'm not saying that you should do this. Um, that would be,